Taking a moment to step back and look at these candidates for the earliest hominid ancestor, we have three leading contenders at the moment. Sahelanthropus chadensis, dating from about six to seven million years ago from the Lake Chad Basin in Central Africa. Auroran tugenensis, dating to approximately six million years ago from areas of the Central Rift Valley in East Africa. And finally, Ardipithecus cadaba and Ardipithecus ramidus, a lineage that has fossil evidence from East Africa from both Ethiopia and Kenya, dating from about six million years ago to close to four million years ago. All of these share certain commonalities and arguments for reduced canine size and bipedality, whether it be obligate or habitual. And it's possible even that some of these may represent actually the same kind of thing. For example, the argument for Ardipithecus, the authors who have published on Ardipithecus, have actually argued that in many ways it might be very similar to Sahelanthropus, that it's possible these are similar kinds of things. So it's possible that we simply don't have enough fossil evidence at the moment to adequately differentiate these specimens. But all of them represent a model as to how and why hominids emerged. They generate predictions as to what kind of characters we'd expect to find in the earliest hominids, and we can test those predictions in the fossil record. And consistent with many expectations, the arguments oftentimes focus on the importance of bipedality, different kind of locomotor strategies for what's essentially still in many ways an ape-like organism, and changes in the dentition, particularly reduction in canine size, possibly associated with dietary change, but also possibly associated with changes in reproductive behavior. Next week, we'll move forward into the Australopithecines, fossils that we have much greater representation of for a longer historical time period, and that are clearly hominins in very key ways. But this gives you at least an initial introduction into the earliest hominins that we might possibly know about. This week's readings and fossil explorations provide you with more information about these fossils. Use them as an opportunity to explore your own thoughts about Sahelanthropus, Auroran, and Ardipithecus. The discussion forums will give you the opportunity to question whether or not these are different things, whether or not they're hominins, how they differ from each other, how they differ from us, and how they might differ from our last common ancestor in the Miocene.